Hello everybody, it's Catherine from Jane Catherine and Books and I'm here with part two of my July TBR. So if you haven't seen part one, I'm doing an author spotlight on Kate Atkinson. So I've chosen the three books off my bookshelves for that. And then I've got a little selection here because they are pretty chunky books. Um, if I want to dip into something else uh, at the same time time now I've got two net galley books um, on the go that I need to get done because they're both coming out in August one is a new one by Leila Slimani which you know I enjoyed uh, the nanny was it just called the nanny no it was called lullaby not the nanny lullaby but she was a nanny in it and there is a new uh, one it's the third, I believe, in the uh, uh, the series by Anthony Horowitz, in which he features himself in um, some crime mysteries. So that one is uh, coming up in August as well. I've just finished that, so I'll be doing my review for the publishers soon. Uh, so I have got the Leila Slamani to do. The three from Kate Atkinson. So I've just got another three uh, just in case. So the first one is The Asylum by Karen Coles. Now this one uh, I featured in a recent book haul and I wanted to get to it pretty soon. It's a gorgeous cover. It's like a brain. One half proper brain, the other half full of fluff. Flowers and things. That's about nine, I think. <laughs> So this is historical fiction, it's set in 1906 and it's set in Angleton, Angleton or Angleton Lunatic Asylum and there's a lady there that's been put in there and if you've been with me a while you'll know that I love these books featuring people that were put into mental health institutions back in the day um, often there was nothing wrong with them or sometimes if they had a, a mental illness they didn't always have medications and treatments available to them um, like we have nowadays and they were just uh, left for years and years in these asylums and, uh, and obviously from my own experience of being a young nursing cadet um, when I was 16 I did pre-nursing and actually had a stint in one of these uh, mental hospitals and saw some of these cases for myself. So it's something that's very dear to my heart. This is obviously a piece of fiction, um, but there's a new doctor arriving. He's going to do some medical hypnosis. So goodness knows what that's going to reveal. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one. I wanted it on the TBR pretty quickly. Then the next one, just to ring the changes completely from everything that I've chosen, uh, is a bit of fantasy by um, Victoria, I can't think of her first name, Victoria Aveyard. This is The Glass Sword. This is the second one in this series, I read The Red Queen. Now, I am not a big fantasy uh, reader and... Um, the Red Queen I picked up, I don't know if it was something three for a fiver at the works or something, I can't remember now, a few years ago. And really, really loved it, really enjoyed it. So it may well be that the, the fantasy that I like is not high fantasy, but more in the YA genre. A bit easier to follow the world building and the characters and things, I think. So this is book two and uh, I've just recently managed to acquire another one in this series so I've got another I've got four all together so far and um, so I thought I'd have a go at this um, this is about mare now in this land there are people with silver blood and people with red blood the red blood people are commoners and the silver are the elite and have special powers now mare's born to red blood stock and therefore should be a commoner have no powers but it turns out she's got this ability uh, there is this silver streak in her so we've found out a little bit more about her in book one which is the red queen so i think this is probably a series to read in order and this is her now trying to find if there were more people like her more red commoners 
that have got this silver streak in them and see if she can uh, get a band of fighters together. So I'm excited to have a go at that and something different to everything else that's on the TBR. So it might just be, I can read several books at once but they have to be different genres. That would fit the bill. And then a series that I am enjoying, I'm about to do a wrap up of book one and two, is The Young James Bond by Charlie Higson. Now this is book three in this uh, uh, Double or Die is book three. I've read Silverfin and Blood Fever. I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it now and getting into it. So yeah, uh, next couple of videos there'll be a wrap up of this coming up. So this is the third. I'm not going to say too much because I want to do my wrap up for books one and two first. So there's another mystery here for the young James Bond to uh, to crack and I'm very much looking forward to it. So there we go. There's only three there but as I say I've got three on my other uh, part one and two, well one net galley now but I've still got a review for the other and uh, these will make a nice change I think. So let me know what books you've got in mind for July. And I'll see you again next video. Bye for now.